This spring, I had the chance of a lifetime. I was given a really cool tour of Puesta del Sol, a net zero building in my school district, Bellevue. Puesta is a green building and green building is a system. Today, we're going to look at one element of this system. Energy conservation with natural lighting. Puesta del Sol tackles energy conservation through lighting in two different ways. One, maximizing daylight, and two, sectored lighting with daylight sensors. First of all, the classrooms in Puesta were built with daylight in mind. They have huge windows and little external window nooks for reading, so as much light as possible is filtered into the building. Taller spaces, like the gym in some classrooms, have skylights, which are more windows at the top of the room to let light in. There's actually two types of window used solely to let light in, Claire stories and skylights. Skylights are horizontal or in line with your roof. You might have one on your own home. These let light in the best during the summer, but let in additional heat as well. They're easier to implement, but less energy efficient than Claire stories. Claire stories are vertical, like normal windows, but are located above the roof to let in extra light. These are the most efficient at letting in light during winter months, but are harder to design for in a green building. All of these windows and bright spaces weren't a coincidence. The architects and engineers purposely designed a building that takes advantage of daylight. This means everything from the placement of the building on the lot, to the height and shape of the ceilings, and the available roof space was intentional. With plenty of natural light filtering into the building, Puesta doesn't need all of its lights on. This strategy alone would conserve energy, but this next one maximizes energy savings. When kids are learning during the day, not all of the lights are on, and most of the lights aren't on all the way, but nobody is getting up to turn them on and off, and nobody is touching the dim slider. Instead, each classroom is equipped with daylight sensors and sectored lighting. A sensor in the ceiling connected to a string of lights identifies how much natural light that area of the room is receiving. The brain then dims the lights in that sector accordingly. Generally, the farther the light is from the window, the brighter the light gets. Not only does this keep the lighting comfortable and even for the humans in the room, but it saves energy for the building. Daylight sensing is a great way to be more sustainable, but it only works if students and staff members allow the building to dim and turn off lights. If the lights are manually turned on, it kind of defeats the purpose. Today, we looked at one small part of green building, but Puesta isn't alone. What's happening here matters to my school district. When I go to the Bellevue School District website, I see their sustainability policy. Bellevue is one of the first districts in Washington to have a sustainability policy. Green building is also important to my city, Bellevue. When I go to my city's website, I see this pie chart. Energy use in buildings is half the problem, but we have a whole plan to solve it. My city is part of a climate alliance with 18 other cities called K4C. Look it up. It's fun fact time. Puesta del Sol uses LED light bulbs, the longest lasting and most efficient type of light bulb. 